Hi guys, this is Mia from Nima Design Laser Files and today I'll show you how to paint and assemble these new countdowns uh, for icons. It's a cute little thing that you could give to a child and have them count the days until Easter. So it contains two types of fronts, one that's layered with icon and one that's engraved. The wheel have this cute little carrot that will spin around. So it will start on 14 days and end with an egg. For the baggers, you can choose between a bagger with a hanger, as an ornament or something like that, and a blank bagger that you could add magnets to and keep on the fridge. Also, both uh, variations contain a version for layering the inside of the ears and a scored version where you can could paint them. So I'll show you both and I decided to keep this one natural to show you just how easy you can make these and stain this one to show you how beautiful you can make it. So if I just push my wheels aside and I'll actually start by saying that once you've cut the files, it's very important that you sand, especially the wheel on both sides. Sand it nice and smooth and also the inside of your ornament should be sanded because that will help the wheel to spin better. I use a sander from Ryobi 1 Plus and I use Grid 240. But you can use whatever you want and what you have available. Um, the inner part of the spinner you don't want to sand because you want it to be just a tiny bit thicker. But I'll tell you more about that once I get to assembling. So let's start off by staining the layered version. I'll be using dark walnut. This is from a brand called V33. I don't know if you can find it anywhere else besides Sicily, where I'm currently located, but you could use whatever you have available. So to stain, I'll just use a foam brush and kind of brush it. And I always do this in the wood direction, so the grains will be visible. If you're staining, it's a great thing to do that first because it will need a little bit of drying time. And also, I'll just stain the back side of it. This one is the magnet version, so I could just have left it as is, but I like to make it beautiful for my customers on both sides. So since this is the layered version, I'll also add some stain to the ear, or ears, it's actually both of them, like this. Leave it to dry and just use the top of my lid and move on to the front. And the great thing about staining is that since this is scored text, uh, it will actually make it pop, kind of. And the reason that I love to use scored text is because it's way faster than engraving. These two ornaments took me nine minutes to engrave, score and cut on my 80 watt uh, CO2 laser. It's from Viva, but it's similar to Umtex. The time will depend on what laser you have and your settings, of course. If you don't know how to score, I wrote a blog post about the subject on our website, All Stars 
www.thedesign.com so you could check that one out but that's the staining part let's move this aside oh no i got some stain on this one okay i'll just see if i can sand this off So, for this one, I wanted to keep it natural, but I still want to paint the ears. And you could mix and match the fronts, depending if you want the layered ears or the scored ears. So, for this little detail, I still want it painted, obviously pink. So, I have these acrylic paint markers from Amazon. These are dual color. So, there's a color in each end of the, the pen which is pretty great because then they'll kind of mix and match without being the exact same color and since you have the scored lines it's pretty easy to paint because you'll just follow the lines as a guide so that's one here And with the scored lines, it should help you a little, so it doesn't um, go outside the line when you're painting. So that's one here. And I could just take the layered ones and use the other end of my pen. It's a little lighter. And I'll actually take one of my spinners as well, because you have the outlined carrot that will be visible. And I want it to be stained the same way as um, the front and back. So let me just find my brush again. There it is. So I'll just add some stain here. Like that. And do the same on the back side. So this wheel will now be for the stained version. For the carrots, I'm also using my markers. It was this one. And again, the cool thing is that you have two colors of green, two colors of orange. So I might as well combine those two. And use this orange color for one carrot and the other orange color for the other carrot. The difference isn't huge on this one, but this one is a little lighter than the other. And the same for the top. And for the text. I think I want this blue. Okay. 
and the link for the acrylic markers that I use I'll add in the description of the YouTube video so you can find these these are pretty cheap I think they were around $25 or so for the set and the set contains 36 pens and 72 colors since there's two colors in each pen and I think they cover up nicely so they are a great alternative to more expensive pens Oh, there we go. Let me just give this a little more color. I didn't sand the ear parts or the layered stuff, so my residue will show a tiny bit because I never use masking tape when I'm cutting. I always sand away the residue. And please, if you're making natural stuff, sand away the residue. It doesn't look good, honestly. I know that some people will say that, oh, my customers like residue. But honestly, no one likes the gooey brown stuff. So that's it. So for assembling, that's very easy as well. And these took about nine minutes to paint. For assembling, I suggest that you buy a stapler because you want to make a tiny bit more space between the inner part of the wheel and the top. Um, if you don't add some additional uh, spacing, it could have some problems with moving. I got stain on this one too. Okay, no worries. Um, <coughs> if you don't have a stapler, you could use a piece of plastic or cardboard or something else uh, just to give that tiny amount of distance. But for assembling, you want to take your bagger. This was the one for my stains project. Take the wheel. Place the inner part. And the only thing you want to attach is the inner part. So I'll use some super glue. This is Gorilla super glue to make it go a little faster. Otherwise, I always use wood glue. So you want to add glue on the back of the round thing, um, but not so much that it will go outside the edge because then you might glue your uh, wheel down as well and then you can slide it so once you have it align the outer wheel with the back hold it just a little and then use your clamps this is also security so you could skip the gluing on the back part but I like to do it all so I'll just add some staples to lift my front just a tiny bit. So once that's done, you want to take your wood glue. I'll, I prefer wood glue when I'm using the staples. Because I know that my super glue doesn't always surround the staples as well. But I'll add a little bit of super glue as well, just to make it dry a little faster. So, place the front and align it. And all the countdown should start with 14 days and end with the egg. Use some clamps to hold it down like this. 
and wait for it to dry. I'll go ahead and assemble the other one. I think I want the lighter carrot from this. So I'll keep these over here. And this is the magnet version because it has a blank dagger. So assembling for this one is the same. Place the wheel, add a bit of glue on the back, center it and align it. Hold it down for just a second. And use your clamps. To create a little distance, add some wood glue. This is wood glue from Minaville. It's also an Italian brand, so I don't know if you can find it. I actually saw it on Amazon, but it was crazy expensive. I get mine from the local supermarket they have it everywhere because kids use it too for kids crafts so place the front and make sure that it's aligned you want the egg to be aligned on the hanger And again, use some clamps to hold it all together while it's drying. And I think this might be dry enough. Let's see. Once it's dry, you could try and move the lever to see if it will slide and as said it will end with the egg i think this is so cute so now that it's dry it's time to add the layering and for this one i have the layered carrot for the lever so just add a drop of glue on that one And when you're gluing it down, make sure that you don't get too close to the edge. Just leave it with a little bit of distance. And the same goes for the ear pads. Just leave a little distance. And I honestly think that I like the layered version better than the engraved uh, the ears at least. The front is cute on both, in my opinion. But you can mix and match them as said, and also the font uh, names that I used is included with the files. So you could change the text to something else if that's what you like so that's the layout version and since this was for the magnets I'll just add a few magnets to it my magnets are pretty um, thick so I have to find some other ones at some points. But when I'm doing something round like this, I like to add two because if I just made one in the center, the whole thing would uh, turn when it's sitting on the fridge. So if you make two, it will sit a bit more stable. Oh, 
that's the method. And let's see this correct version. So you still want to layer the code. And as said, don't be too generous with the glue and also place it with a tiny bit of distance to the actual front. So that's the other version. And that's pretty much it. Two done in 20 minutes, so 10 mi minutes each, approximately. Have fun, and I can't wait to see your final results. Uh, if you're not a member of my uh, Facebook helping group, it's called Laser Up with Mimo Design, Mimo Design Laser Files, and I'd love to see your finished products. So make sure to join and send me some pictures. And if you have any questions, I'm always more than happy to assist and help. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.